How's it going everybody? This is Pete the Bush. Welcome to the fifth episode of Don't Buy It, You Don't Need It. This is a series where I pick several day-to-day -day items and I try to convince you to not buy such an item in order to save your money and increase your net worth. Sort of like an unsalesman tactic, if you will. Now, as a disclaimer, some of these items, you may not completely agree that you should not buy them at all. Now, there are very, very specific instances where yes, there are very, very good reasons that you should buy such an item after all. The first thing I have a gripe with is much of the items next to the checkout stand at a grocery store, such as packs of gum, candy, magazines, and things like that, generally cost a little bit more than if you bought in a larger pack, king size or whatnot. These items are there to get you to spend more money. They are intentionally small so that you would actually have to go back and keep on buying these items because they run out pretty quickly. Not to mention these are candies. After all, there's a lot of sugar in it. It's not very good for you. If you want to get a magazine at the checkout stand, sure, you can get it if you are going to make good use of the full magazine. So the way to deal with this magazine thing is if you have a magazine that you like to read, just get the subscription and make sure that you will actually read every single magazine, all 12 issues in a year. The only instance where you should buy a magazine at the checkout stand is if it's a really good magazine that you want to read and you only read it maybe once a year for some reason rather than um, a recurring thing where you want to read it every single month. Now, the second thing that you should not buy and that you do not really need is a hotel mini bar or the snacks inside a hotel room. These everybody know is marked up in an incredible amount. You just have like a tiny bag of chips and it'll be like $4, $5. It's just insane. This is a sort of convenience fee for anybody that eats out of the mini fridge or mini bar. This fee is paid by those who do not plan ahead to get enough food and bring it back to their hotel room because you can easily just stop by a convenience store, uh, buy something for a lot cheaper, buy your chips, you know, it'll be a lot bigger. Uh, buy whatever drinks that you want and it will have a lot more volume. The third thing you should not buy, and you guys probably know that I was gonna go here eventually, is toilet paper. Now I'm not saying to not buy toilet paper at all because this is something that people need. What I'm saying is you can just supplement your toilet paper with a bidet where you install this thing in your bathroom, it's going to you know flush with water instead and you can essentially use a lot less toilet paper. The initial cost of a bidet, yes, it might cost very expensive if you go and buy the Japanese kind, except there are cheaper ones where um, it's not heated C, you know, it doesn't have all these fancy, um, you know, digital readouts and stuff. It can get a lot cheaper where you just connect it to the water source. Now, I personally have not gotten one of these bidets yet, but I have used them before. And I think, yeah, it's makes sense to get one of these and I'm looking to get one of these myself in the future. The fourth thing is not buying food at the cafeteria. This is kind of related to going to restaurants all the time during lunchtime. If you minimize on the amount of time that you go buy cafeteria food or go to restaurants, you're going to save a lot of money. Now it does make sense to occasionally go out with your coworkers to have lunch or whatnot, but I do not think that you really need to go every single day because this is essentially a big waste of money and I think maybe once every week or once every two weeks is a good amount of time to um, keep up a good relationship with your coworkers. Now cafeteria food, most of the time, is just as unhealthy as eating a restaurant where um, it's high in salt, high in sugar, things are just not very healthy in general. Even if your cafeteria serves relatively healthy food, you're still paying a premium of eating out, sort of. Uh, cafeteria is kind of like eating out, you're paying, um, a premium, you know, five to ten dollars for a lunch versus uh, making one yourself that would cost maybe one to three dollars instead. The fifth and final thing that you should not buy is digital picture frames. Now, I've seen a lot of these around and I've myself have itched to buy one of these so that I can just sit it around and, you know, put all kinds of pictures in it. The problem I have with digital picture frames is the larger it is, the larger a screen it has, the more power it's gonna consume. Now, this thing, it's gonna be on 24 seven. It's going to build up in heat and most likely you can just plug it in for, I don't know, I estimate maybe three to five years, the screen is gonna start to darken because it's an LCD screen or whatever type of screen it is. Um, it's gonna start to dim. At the same time, 
because it's on 24 seven, it's consuming a lot of electricity. The picture frame itself is likely gonna cost more than $100. And judging if it uses maybe one watt to five watts, it's gonna cost anywhere between 10 cents to $1 to run every single month. This is in contrast to good old printed out pictures. It's so cheap these days, you can print out a four by six picture for just 29 cents. You can you know, print it out much bigger if you want to. And you know, you just have enough picture frames. And if you want to rotate the picture, go ahead, rotate it. You do not need to plug this picture into the wall or anything, and it won't continuously suck up electricity. It won't break after several years. And then you have to go, oh, I have to buy another digital picture frame and then replace the one that you had. So I hope these suggestions help you not buy these items. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if you have other ideas for other products that you should not buy. If you're interested in supporting this channel, don't forget to check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook, you can cancel it before the subscription expires and you can still keep this audiobook. You can keep it for life basically, and you can still help benefit this channel. If you're interested in supporting this channel directly, I have a Patreon over here where I give various perks at various contribution levels. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.